What up, YouTube? Cyber here. I thought it'd be fun to go over how I made one of the patches in my new Vital preset pack. This is a filtered, glassy pad sound similar to what I've heard in some of Tipper's music and a few of my other favorite producers. So if you like this sort of thing, definitely check the description box for a link to where you can get that pack. Appreciate the support for anyone who picks that up. Also, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. Okay, so I have a fresh instance of Vital here, and the basis of this sound is to um, grab a sine wave and FM it from oscillator 2 here with a saw wave. So what we're going to do is turn down the level of the saw wave, because we're not after the sound of the saw wave, we're just using it for FM purpose. And um, we're going to get a slightly smoother sound from the FM, um, in this case, if we kick it up an octave. Now, because we're... Making a pad here, I'm going to add a touch of attack so that it eases in when we play the keyboard and kind of eases out when we let go. And I find with FM, um, there's often a small sweet spot, this, well, at least for this sound, where it kind of adds a nice grit and texture to it. And if you go too far, it can get a little bit harsh. And I'll kind of show you what that sounds like now. So this, this area here is kind of where I'm looking to FM. So I'm going to take this LFO, and I want it to start with a touch of grit and then kind of just sweep up through this, like, sweet spot. And it's okay if it's a little harsh right there because um, part of this sound is often a filter sweep. So I'm going to turn on filter one and I'm going to take LFO and drag it down to the cutoff and we'll get something like this. Pull the cutoff down a little bit and pull this up a little. And what can be nice too is to kind of have the um, the resonance move a little bit up with the sweep for a more interesting sweep. And add a little bit of reverb while we're at it to kind of smooth things out a little bit. Bringing the time up can be nice too. Nice. Well, that's the basis of the sound right there, but I think we can make this... Um, more fun to play with if we grab macro one here and turn this into a speed control and then drag this over to our time and we'll pull this up and dial in the sort of max um, time modulation that we want so the top is a little too fast so So it's kind of nice to have it in tempo that works. You could also, another option would be to turn this to seconds for like a smoother time modulation. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to leave it on tempo. Um, and this can be really fun to play with if you grab your mod wheel then and drag it up to modulate your speed macro so that you can just um, grab your modulation wheel and do something like this. <laughs> While we are at playing it, it can be really fun to use your uh, pitch modulation too with this sound. A lot of fun. Now, another option besides using your pitch modulation on your keyboard is to sort of bake it into the patch a little bit more. So um, I'm actually going to grab LFO2 here and do something like a shape like this so that you get the initial sound of your chord um, and then it sweeps up. And we're gonna turn this to envelope mode and then um, we can drag this LFO2 over to the pitch of our sine wave and right click and enter value. And I'm gonna make this 12 so that it jumps an octave when it goes up to the top of our modulation window here. So it sound like this. 
So now we could have that baked in and then use our speed mod wheel. And that's a pretty fun way to go about it. Um, the other thing that can be cool is to create a macro that's kind of a switch for when you want to use this uh, baked in uh, modulation or not. So we could grab macro two and drag it over to our amount. And we will call this octave. And then if we hop over into our matrix here, we can turn it into a switch by um, creating something like this, kind of get as far over as possible and then create a curve up like that. So now it like automatically will turn on if I move this up a little. So it's off. Anywhere up here, it's gonna be on. Uh, let's change this, there we go. So now you can have fun with that if you want to. The other thing that can be kind of cool, I think, is to have this um, speed macro kind of increase our resonance a touch, too, for one of those faster wiggles. We get like a little bit more resonance. Let's see what that sounds like. Right about there. Not bad. Now, this is already a little bit glassy, but we can get even more glassy by taking this um, spectral morph and going either harmonic stretch. I, th I find inharmonic stretch tends to be a little bit more glassy. So um, if we stretch our um, saw wave here, this is what it can sound like. really glassy. So what I'll do is I will make a macro here so that you can then increase the glassiness if you want. Glass. Here we go. That can be super fun. Um, the other thing that I might do on a patch like this is um, give it some width. And uh, there's a number of ways to do that right in Vital. But um, one way that's kind of cool is to um, uh, create almost a Haas effect with this um, stereo um, feature on Vitals LFO. So if I grab this macro and bring it over here, and then I right click and I do a really small amount like um, 0.06, then you'll notice the... Um, It's a subtle widening effect that's really nice if you have, if you want to play down lower and have like a pad like this not be in the way of your bass. To have that like slight difference between left and right that makes it um, a little wider. So I'm going to call this Haas ish. <laughs> All right, well, that's the sound, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I will upload this preset for my $1 Patreons. It's also included in my preset pack, so definitely check the description box down below for a link to where you can get that, and I hope you find those inspiring. And uh, thank you to everyone who supports me in that way. All right, till next time, peace out.